Before we begin the video, please subscribe and hit the button bell for you to get notified when we have new exciting videos to watch. If it's like really wet still, you probably don't want to do this because it's going to like drip down. But number one, it looks really cool when it drips down. And two, mine's not very wet, so it's okay. I messed the case. So I'll turn it around. Okay, so now we have our trees painted and our backgrounds laid, so we're gonna tape up the edges and that's just gonna keep all the resin from sliding off. And then we're gonna mix up some resin and we're gonna tint it and we'll pour it on and that'll create our sky background. All right, so we're gonna mix up some art resin um, with our regular one-to-one -one ratio here. And we're gonna stir it for three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom. So I'm gonna pour it into each of these individual cups and then to those cups, we're gonna add our resin tin, and that'll make up all the different colors that are gonna be part of our sky. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do like a purple to indigo to kind of teal color. So I'm gonna start with a few drops of neon pink in this one.
All right, well, we're finished up here. Usually at this stage, we'd add a cover, but this is actually the back of our piece, so it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna leave it out, and uh, I'll come back to it tomorrow. Hey guys, we're back, so here it is today. I think that it looks really good. I really like the colors and how they transition. So the only thing that I did off camera was I added a layer of resin to the front here. And the reason for that is you see where all these like drips come through from the back? These snuck through the tape while we poured our back. So once we have this layer of resin on the front, we're safe to grind these off. So you're just gonna wanna take a belt sander or palm sander or a Dremel or even just a grinder and you're just gonna buzz these right off. But you don't have to worry about your art. It's gonna be all protected because it's covered in a nice layer of resin. And then don't worry about scratching it up because when you pour another layer on top, it's gonna restore like the shine and everything. It'll be beautiful again. So we have our piece. I think it looks really great over here. But let's find out what it looks like in front of the window. All right, so here it is in front of the window. I absolutely love it. It really glows. It's not even a particularly sunny day and you can see it really glows like a real
please subscribe and hit the button bell.